Good morning, everybody. This is Kim Danke coming to you live from the Shibola Studios in Kennesaw, Georgia. I hope that y'all have a great Wednesday planned. We have 99, just 99 days. We are in the two-digit numbers down till the rest of the year. 99 days left until the end of 2020. And I hope that you are going to do awesome, awesome things with that 99 days that you have left. And I wonder why I can't see anything. And it's because I have all the wrong glasses. That is so much better. <laughs> I can see now. When you hop on here, please tell me good morning and let me know where you are from and what type of Shibboleth day you are having. And if you're having great success or little success, because every little step gets us to where we want to go, let us know that too. I am on my way back down from a few holidays in a row, and now I'm at 139. So the day before yesterday, I was at 140. Yesterday, 139.5. Today, 139. So it is moving its way back down, just as it should after a holiday when you get right back to your perfect days. This is what it should do. I love that. Okay, so let's see who's on here this morning. Good morning, Bob and Cheryl and Diane and Teresa and Ron and Amy. Good morning. Ron is from Lilburn. Amy is from Ohio having a perfect day. Hey, Marla and Sherry and Teresa and Sarah. Yes, and Sherry, Shibby Shop Sherry is going to have a perfect day in Kennesaw. And Michelle says, everybody, good morning. She's having an IMF day. 99 days to continue making changes. Like I said yesterday, those holidays that are coming up, those are just one day out of the month. And if you choose to celebrate on a few other days during the month, that's okay. It's still within the lifestyle. But don't give up every other day for those one day here and there. Let's have good results before the end of the year. Hey, Michelle and Rosemary. Good morning, Diane from Mississippi, having an intermittent fasting day. Ciara is having an intermittent fasting day, 44 pounds down, woo woo, that is awesome. Good job, good job. Diane from Kennesaw, thank you for sharing. She's having a perfect day. If y'all look down in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, if you are on your phone, there will be a share button. Just press that, you don't even have to say anything. Share, and then the blue button that says post now and you're good to go. Hey, Marla, good morning. Having a perfect three days away. Good, good. Marla is a flight attendant, so she has to plan in advance, but I tell you what, makes it makes it really nice to know what you're doing. Good morning, Pamela. Good morning, Teresa from Mineral Bluff having a WOW Challenge Day. Thank you for sharing. Hey, Lynn and Ann and Shay. Pamela's from Alpharetta having a WOW Day. Thank you for sharing, Pamela. Charlene, my friend, is from Dallas. She shared, and uh, she and her sister, cousins, got to celebrate her sister's 70th birthday this weekend. That's awesome. Hey, Susan, and Amy is on day 16 of a 21-day challenge. Don't you love it that we can have all these things that we can do within the Shavola lifestyle? So every week, we start new members with the new member Fast Track. I teach that. Jason is doing challenges. Uh, Travis does the... The, the noon day, uh, when, it, when the internet's not acting up, noon day encouragement and lessons and teaching. There's just, there's no lack of us uh, attempting to help. So, okay, so yesterday, who did some exercise homework? Who did some exercise homework? Y'all give me some hearts if you did. Hi, Samantha. <laughs> Good morning, Amanda. Oh, Amanda, I, I don't want to be talking about this with Amanda on here because <laughs> Amanda's always doing exercise. Uh, let's see, Cheryl from Clarksville having a Tiger 16 day. So she fasted for 16 hours yesterday but didn't get the required steps in. And there are pieces and parts, and I've answered that question on the web, uh, the, the Facebook page before. Somebody asked what a Tiger 16 was, and they said fa fasting for 16 hours, and I said, and doing this, and doing this, and doing this. So thank you for keeping us straight, Cheryl, and being uh, truthful and honest to what that day is. Um, she's had nine of her 12 holidays this month with very strict days in between, staying in her range, and Shibboleth only works this way. It does. It's great. Deanda, hey there. 
from Smyrna back in EFB today after four hog trough days in a row. Up seven pounds and earned each one. So glad to be back in EFB. And those pounds will come off. That's what I was ended up doing too. Amanda exercised, but not the homework. Uh, she probably, I don't know if you saw it yesterday or not, but uh, hey, Tammy from Ohio, having a perfect day. So Amanda likes to exercise and I don't. But so I pulled this homework off of the website yesterday. Did anybody else do this? Y'all give me some hearts if anybody else went and looked up their homework for the in the journal for exercising. And let me know if you did it or not. But guess who didn't? This girl, I didn't do it. I'm sorry. I didn't do it. Do you know why? Because I don't like to, and but I want to. And so I have this thing about I print this. I'm going to have these great intentions of getting this exercise in. And then anything and everything will come before it. And, well, especially work. Work comes before it. And then before I know it, day is over. So, anyway, I, I got to try again. I got to try again today to get that exercise in. So, I don't know if y'all are like me or not with that exercise, but I'm so thankful that I didn't have to exercise to lose the weight that I lost, but I also do not want to grow and age and be decrepit, and we will become decrepit if you don't use your body, if you don't use your body. And I find that just doing simple housework, cho housework chores especially if it involves like lifting a mattress to put a sheet on and stuff, is hard. And that should not be that way at 50. So I, I'm at the point where I realize I need to be exercising for my strength, not necessarily to lose weight, but to lose, but to, for strength and for just strength as I age and grow older. And so I got to get it in. I got to figure it out. So I'm on the path. We'll see if I can get there. <laughs> Amanda, don't, because I might not, I don't text me about exercise and I might have to not reply. <laughs> Good morning, Lori. How are you? Okay, so today's devotion is, hey, good job on exercising. It doesn't have to be the homework. I just am using that because that is another tool. That's another tool, another feature of our of our Shibboleth website. And Shibboleth is the only thing that I have found that I'll go to every day um, and just see what I need to do. So uh, that's why I use the exercise homework. But if you're exercising, Marla, no oops on that, girl. You did great. And you're right, Diane. If you don't use it, you lose it. And I had a sneezing attack all day last Friday. And it has hurt my lower back like you would not believe. So then I went to the chiropractor and she's adjusted me. And I've sat in hot water, you know, a couple of nights in a row to try to help that get better and everything. And it helps a little bit. But I'm still suffering almost five days later from a from sneezing attack. From, and I thought, okay, if you can't make your bed up without... Uh, with any, without any strength, if sneezing is hurting your back, you need to exercise. <laughs> um, oh yeah, Sasha posted a picture yesterday of her cell phone, which we rarely see. Uh, she is exercising. You're right, Amanda. I do not want to ride the electric scooters at Walmart either, and I do not want to become decrepit. So we're gonna we're gonna get this. This is just one of those things that you're gonna watch me try to wrap my head around. Uh, and now, eating seemed to be easier. The Shibboleth lifestyle was easier for me to wrap my head around because it was scientific, it made sense, and I wanted it so bad that I was willing to learn it, and I was also willing to exercise my self-discipline muscle. That's an easier muscle for me to exercise than my actual muscles. But uh, anyway, we'll get there, right? Okay, so today's devotion is called Iron Sharpens Iron. Iron sharpens iron. The verse is Proverbs 27, 17, and it's from the New Living Translation. So if y'all type that in for me, Proverbs 27, 17. Oh, good. Yeah, I know that Patricia does that Leslie Sansoni walking tapes. So good idea. I have the original Buns of Steel tape. I could go put that in. I always like doing that. And I have some other things. It's really time, too. It's a time thing because I work a lot. 
Thank y'all for typing in the verse. Okay, the verse says, as iron sharpens iron, so a friend sharpens a friend. And that's what we're here to do with each other in this Shibboleth lifestyle. That's another thing I'm so excited about is friends doing the same thing that I'm doing. Have you ever tried to cut a friend's hair with styling scissors that had dull blades or slice through a piece of steak with an unsharpened knife? It's frustrating and the results are less than satisfying. Yet, when you rub the dull blade against a separate piece of iron, it works better. I'm iron. You're iron. We're rubbing against each other to make each other better in Shibboleth and in life. Likewise, when you interact with a good friend, sharing honest feedback, encouraging one another's growth, you each become wiser. How rewarding is that? I think that's perfect for even those of us who have no idea who each other are out in the real world, but we know each other through technology, we can still have that sharpening effect of each other. And I'll see things on Facebook and people are sharpening each other all the time in the posts and helping tweak and correct the things that they see. And when I see that, I don't see that as somebody trying to, uh, you know, bring somebody down by telling them they're wrong. It's them helping them. And anybody that's getting that advice does need to accept it in that way. That is uh, us, iron sharpening iron. Okay. Tammy says, maybe do the broadcast while walking. Well, I have to go to work right after this. So I work from eight to five for a roofing company. So I go to work right after this. Um, <laughs> okay, so Amanda is giving some... Uh, some suggestions. Dance, line dance, square dance, ballroom dance, Zumba, exercise has to be fun. Dance is fun. You were right. It is fun. It is fun. Thank you for the suggestion, Tammy. Thank you. I do love it. And I thought about it. Okay. Let's see on that line dance. I think I have done some line dancing before. And I do enjoy square dancing when I did it in elementary school when they made you do it in PE. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna hop off of here, but when we get off of here, I want y'all to go journal. I want you to say what type of day that you are having. If you are brand new in Shibboleth, all you need to focus on is perfect days and holidays. Just know that all those other days that you see in there, if you're a Tiger's Eye member and you see other days in there, all those other days are, are ways for you to advance uh, into a uh, sharper, stronger lifestyle with Shibboleth. But new people, perfect and holidays. That's all I need you to focus on. So make sure you journal. The reason you journal early is so that if you want to change your mind mid-afternoon, you physically have to go change your journal to be accurate in your timing chart. And that will stop people. That will. So we got to use all the tools that we can, all the strategies that we can. Then if you will, share something from the website. I haven't seen hardly any sharing from the website lately. So do that. Tag me. Share this too. That's totally fine. We're going to do our drawing on Friday. Um, oh, if you go to the Shibboleth public page, there was a special that Travis was running that had 10 codes. Maybe you could share that and tag me. Um, and then, why do I lose my train of thought at the end? It's so simple. Oh, I'm going to catch up with the videos. Make sure you've watched those. Mark them watch. And if you are watching on replay, please type in hashtag Shibboleth for his glory. Okay, Cheryl, I do wear a Fitbit and I hardly get any steps in. Hardly any. Because I sit a lot. I sit a lot. So I am busy, but I'm either sitting, driving, or standing. I wish, Cheryl. Oh, my goodness. Hey, CJ from Marietta. Good morning. So I just got like the Fitbit. Let's see if I can show you, and then I'll hop off. You know how you get the Fitbit week, weekly progress? Look, look, at, look how sorry that is. Those are my steps. It's terrible. And my best day was 7,547. But it is because I am, like I said, I, I, I sit, I drive, I stand. <laughs> and that's not getting in steps. 
But I, we're gonna we're gonna get it together. We're gonna get it together. Thank you. Walk in place. That's a good idea. I used to do that when I worked at this store. I would stand there and wait on customers and walk in place. So we'll get it together for me. Y'all help me out. All right, y'all have a great day, a blessed and perfect day, and I will see you on the Shibby Show in the morning. Bye.